you got too many plastic bottles? Don't hurry to throw them away. In this video, we'll share a few smart ideas how to give plastic bottles a second life. Hooray! It's snowing at last. I want to go out immediately. How do you avoid getting stuck in a snowdrift? Use DIY snow breakers. Take a plastic bottle and cut off the top and the bottom. Cut the plastic cylinder in half. Put each of the halves onto your shoe and mark the toe box. Cut out the holes. Prick two holes for a rubber band using a heated awl. Measure out the rubber band to fit your shoe. Pass it through the holes. Fasten with knots at the ends. Put the snow breakers on your boots. Here it is, a true Santa Claus life hack. Though you should have made bigger snow breakers, so that way they work right. Fire is no game. How do you protect your hand from hot oil splatter? Use a DIY hand protecting screen. Snip off the top part of a plastic bottle. Melt the edges using a lighter. Put in the handle of the kitchen utensil you're going to use. Put your hand into the bottle top. My friend gives me the plastic screen. I hold the handle inside, keeping my skin protected from the grease burn. Take your fried egg out safely and easily. Bon appetit! When the blue-eyed girl is away, I see a Sprite bottle in her backpack. Excellent! I can have a drink. Wow! There's just a neck left from the bottle. Something's wrong with this Sprite. It's not beverage, but lip balm. Snip off the neck of a plastic bottle using a heated knife. Cut out a plastic circle from the middle of the bottle. Hot glue to the cut neck. Transfer lip balm into the mini container. My lips will definitely like this Sprite. And such a weird container will attract your friend, so watch out! Don't let your lip balm disappear! Do you need something to keep your coins in? Let's make a traditional piggy bank. It's kind of a symbol to recycle a bottle into the money-saving container. We'll need a straight bottle of the same width across the entire length. Cut it out in half. Cut out the bottom. Join it with the top to get a small bottle. Mark a slit to insert coins. Cut it out with a thin craft knife. Attach the bottom with multi-purpose glue. Paint the pig pink. Use a sponge and acrylic paint. Perfect! The bottle and top are covered with a smooth paint coat. Let's add the distinguishing details. Draw an ear on pink felt. It looks like a leaf. Cut it out. Make the ears volumetric. Make a small cut at the bottom. Attach the cut parts to overlap. Glue the ear on top. Add the other one. Attach black bead eyes. Add two felt nostrils to turn the bottle top into a pig snout. Add hot glue stands to make it stable. What a cute piggy bank! It will embellish your room interior and save your coins. Let's make new bracelets to complete the low-cost jewelry collection. We'll need a bottle of a width to fit the hand. It should be neither too narrow nor too wide. Remove the label using the craft knife. 
cut it in half. Cut off the top. Trim with the scissors. We've got two bracelets of different widths. Wrap decorative tape around the narrow one. We've chosen a bright lavender color with glitter. Start wrapping the wider bracelet with the sparkly green tape. Continue with the pale lavender one. It took us a few minutes to make a couple of stunning bracelets. Your friends will hardly guess what they are made of. My dog wants to play, but I can't do it right now. I'm busy discussing the number of likes for my picture with Frufru. Okay, I've got something special. It's a new toy. Put a few beads into a little plastic bottle, put on a sock, and tie a knot. Frufru enjoys playing with the new toy. It's so easy to make. Bring joy to your dog. We are going to paint the next craft, so take an unclear plastic bottle. Make a cute holder for writing tools. Cut off the bottle top. Draw rabbit ears with a marker. Draw a line that's level with the bottom of the ears. Cut out with the scissors. Be careful and watch your fingers. Paint the detail pink. Use a sponge and acrylic paint. Dip the sponge in water to make a smooth hue. When dry, make the rabbit fluffy by increasing the surface texture. Dip the sponge in the paint and apply a thick coat. Paint the face. Outline a closed eye with the black acrylic paint. Use the thinnest brush you have or take a permanent marker. Now the other eye. Add eyelashes. Make a lovely little heart-shaped nose. Color the ears. Continue painting the face. This cute rabbit will sleep quietly on your desk. It can keep your school supplies, makeup, or other small stuff. Are you out of an empty container? Don't worry. If you use this life hack, you'll be able to store your cereals or loose handmade supplies in a plastic pocket. Take the bottle top left after another craft. Gather the packet top. Pass it through the bottle neck. Smooth the pocket, pulling it down. Put on the top. It's as simple as practical. You can use the top as a dispenser for the cereal or your DIY colored salt. Try it on, you'll certainly like it. Do you need a little vase? Make a DIY vase from the plastic bottle quickly and easily. Take the upper bottle part with the top on, left after the mini tube. Trim the edge. Melt it by pressing against a hot iron. It'll make the edges smooth. Paint it with the acrylic paint. Take a used CD and paint it in the same color. It will be the vase's bottom. Add a color accent. Take paint of the contrast color on the brush and paint the top. Let it flow down randomly on the walls. Attach the vase to the base. Use the multi-purpose glue. You can use this bright decor article as a flower vase or holder. Let's make a stylish and functional phone holder containing cheap DIY speakers. Trace a paper towel roll on the bottle. Cut it out. Make the same detail from another bottle. Cut off the top. 
Trace the outline of the bottom of your phone on the cardstock roll. Draw the slit to fit the phone. Cut it out. Wrap the scrap of paper around the roll. Mark the slit. Cut it out. Apply the white glue to the roll. Join the details. Be careful to put the paper slit over the cardstock one. Press down. Decorate the plastic parts. Use the sponge and acrylic paints. We painted them partly to make them more intricate. Attach the decorative tape to the edge. Attach it part by part. First, one half, then the other. Assemble the holder. Put the cardstock detail into the plastic ones. It's time to put in the phone. Done! We've got a futuristic design article holding the phone at the right angle. In addition, the stand contains two speakers to amplify the sound of your phone. Subscribe to Troom Troom and join the big army of DIY lovers. Give your thumbs up and hit the bell. The new video is coming soon.